Number 15. What is the smallest separation between two slits that will produce a second order maximum for 720 nanometer red light? All right. So it's talking about a maximum, therefore it's constructive interference, and now we're going to be using this formula over here on the right-hand side. This formula deals with double slits, constructive interference. So it says that the distance between the slits multiplied by the sine of the angle is going to be equal to now the order multiplied then by the wavelength. So I want to find the small separation, or the separation which is d. So simply divide out then the sine of the angle. All right, now here's the thing. We want to find the smallest separation, the smallest d. And therefore, they told us it's second order maximum, so m is 2. They told us the wavelength, so that's the wavelength. They didn't tell us the angle. But now think about this. The largest value of sine of theta will produce the smallest then distance, right? If And the largest value for sine of theta is 1. It can't go above 1. So you can just cross this out and plug in a 1 if you want, or you can say, well, the largest value should occur at an angle of 90 degrees. It does not matter. We're both going to come to the same conclusion. So this is going to be 2 multiplied by the 720 nanometers. Careful, we need that in meters. Then I'll divide that by now sine all right, of the angle. Now, uh, again, 90. Okay? And that's it. So it's just 2. Now, technically, do you need to convert it into meters, nanometers? No, not really. But, you know, it's just... It's just habit at this point. So this is 2 times 720 times 10 to the minus 9th, and that's it. So this is 1.44 times 10 to the minus 6th, and that is in terms of meters. That would be about 1.44 micrometers, all right? Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hope that helps. Give us a hand, like, subscribe, all right? You know you want to do it. Go for it. We'll see you soon.